In the UN's vast sub-basements, an eerie glow still filters through the hallways and offices. These glow-in-the-dark markers guided workers safely out of the building during the 2003 Northeast blackout that darkened New York City. They owe their glow to a substance called strontium oxide aluminate. Exposed to light, its electrons are pushed to a higher energy state. In the dark, they lose energy, giving it off in wavelengths of greenish-yellow light. The emergency lighting basically takes its energy from the regular building lights. So after the regular building lights go off, you're still going to see an eerie glow. But these markers can only glow for up to 20 hours. With no electric lights to recharge them, this vast labyrinth will soon join the rest of the city and the world in total darkness. The General Assembly is outlasted by the 39-story Secretariat Tower, but just barely. The steel curtain frame is a teetering, rusted skeleton. Despite a deep foundation and a heavy-duty steel and concrete base, the Secretariat was built on filled-in land reclaimed from the East River. The problem is that there are areas of the sub-basements that are actually below the level of the water line. Because the lower levels would flood, uh, it does expose the steel framework uh, to brackish water, to salt water. So you got major motions of the water slamming into this thing continuously. The salt water itself could cause enough corrosion to bring the building down all at once. 